Hi, it's me again with Corrode Oil Tips and Tricks. Over the years, I've done a lot of videos on the clone tool, but I was just playing around with this morning, and this thing has been interactive color field, but this would take you a good long time to draw, but if you use the clone tool, it's uh, a lot easier and quite a bit fun. So we're gonna take a uh, polygon tool, set on six-sided, draw a polygon. I'm gonna hit P, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna see how big this thing is and it's over 12 inches. So I'm gonna set my nudge factor to 14. And I'm gonna go up to edit and clone. I'm gonna move my clone. You know what, maybe I didn't have it selected. Edit and clone, there we go. I'm gonna move that out of the way and if you look, this is my control. So I need to move it out of the way and then put this back. Now, this is our clone so I can control D and duplicate it and I can rotate it 10 degrees. Control D, control D, control D, control D. So now you have this weird looking shape. But watch what happens when we do something to the clone. Look at that. It made it the exact same shape. Now we can actually add a node there and add a note there and bring this out. I didn't evidently didn't bring a note there. So we've got these sharp points now, and, and you're watching it in real time as it's doing it. You could maybe manipulate one of these things, but you couldn't watch it in real time change. So I'm gonna put four nodes real close together. I'm just double clicking my left mouse button. I'm gonna grab the two center nodes and I'm gonna move them outwardly. If you can see it changing all the way around all six sides, but look what it did there. Now we're not far enough out to merely make a difference. So we're gonna move these completely out. Well, our lines are still kind of in the way. Um, let's move this one way out here. See, now we got a line that's way out on the end. And that's really where I probably should have put my nodes and my clone just to kind of show it off. So I'm, I'm left clicking my mouse on the line and then I'm gonna grab the two inner nodes and look at that. It put those notches on every one of my points around the edge. Now, once you're done, you can move this out of the way and you could actually take all this and you could weld it and you get that really weird shape that you could that you know before you welded it you could keep going let's go back it's it's kind of fun uh we can move the clone anywhere let's take a nice bit of have both of them in the picture let's add some nodes on this side this time i'm just going to add three and i'm going to make whoop need three i'm just going to make a spike look at that and see by this, by when I say real time, you know, if you know you go here, you went too far. You know you're here, you're perfect. You could actually bring it up. Now let's take all this and weld it. And I'm gonna, I'm just, I'm really done with the video, but uh, show you how you can make that shape. Now take your smart fill tool to fill in that item. And look at that. I'm gonna take away the outline by right clicking. Well, you really can't do that on a smart field because the outline was already there. So we're just gonna move our smart field out of the way. And now let's do something like I did here with the interactive field tool. Just show you how you can get these points, a different color interactive field tool. Just kind of swipe and then go up to elliptical. You know, it's not working. Interactive fill tool, there we go. Go to elliptical, move this to the center. And this is where you can, you know, like you can get these tips of these items that we created to a different color. We can bring in a red right there. Now we could actually bring in another blue and then that way our tips only be red and we could move it so we could have our tip red wherever we want it. You, and inside that blue, you can bring in as many reds as you want. 
because it won't go past that blue, but we're making our red really red. And we still got a little bit of a blue tip, but we can make that red tip red. Whoop, I didn't quite hit the box. You've got to get inside the box. Now the tips are red, the center's white, and the other blue, and you have made something that has no name. Anyway, I hope that helped just a little bit. Thank you for watching.